Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and we are going to do an unboxing and assembly of this vintage G.I. Joe vehicle. I have had this 1993 Mudbuster uh, in the box for some time. I haven't opened it yet, um, and I hadn't actually planned to do uh, an assembly of this video quite so soon, but I discovered that I really need this vehicle for a review that I'm going to do in the near future of a different vehicle. If you can guess which other vehicle the, this might be essential for, leave a comment below with your guess, and if you get it right, you will get a no prize. There is no prize. I've said before I would never uh, open and assemble a, a rare vehicle. Um, I've really only done that with uh, things that are fairly common. Uh, so uh, 90s vehicles, I really don't have uh, any problem opening these and putting them together. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's crack this thing open. These 90s boxes were actually glued closed. They don't have the uh, stringy tape that was used on 80s boxed vehicles. Um, so I was thinking about which side I should open. Uh, this side is a little bit damaged already, so I guess I'm going to open it from that end. Uh, so let's um, let's see here. Um, here, do it facing the camera as much as I can. Um, now, if this is like other '90s vehicles, then there should be uh, yes, there should be a cardboard tray that should pull out. Like that, there we go. Set the box aside for now. Uh, sometimes it's helpful to have the box handy though so uh, um, I can get a better idea of the sticker placement. Of course, the instruction sheet includes, includes the um, sticker placement, but sometimes it's not always very clear. Sometimes the picture helps. Uh, so we've got um, plastic frames with, uh, with the pieces. Got some wheels, should have four of those. There's a spring-loaded missile launcher. That'll go on. There's a piece out of the hood. Uh, that looks like um, the front bumper. Uh, this uh, looks like uh, the main body. This is the rear axle. Ah, we've got uh, a catalog, a 1993 catalog. I've got a few of these already, but um, actually, right um, see, yeah, right there is the vehicle we will be assembling today. So there's uh, a catalog, there is the sticker sheet, the other wheels, a uh, piece of black thread, oh, and a black rubber band. So that's a quite an old rubber band. It seems to still be pretty elastic. Um, and pretty strong. Hopefully it's strong enough. Um, sometimes uh, old rubber like this will not hold, but we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. We'll see if it actually works for this vehicle. This thread goes to it as well. Um, here is, um, this should be a mail-away catalog. Yep, yeah, it's a mail-away catalog, catalog, terrifying lasers of destruction. Um, and um, yeah, there's there's the ad for a Create a Cobra right there. Um, and finally, the instruction sheet. So let me set that tray aside now that we have all the pieces out. Let's open that up. Um, it's the 90s equivalent of blueprints. And here we go. There is our instruction sheet. And here is step one. So it says, uh, step one, vehicle top slash chassis assembly. Insert green tabs at front of green vehicle top into uh, slots in front of green chassis. Uh, press down sides of vehicle top until uh, side tabs snap into place. Okay, so let me move these out of the way because we're talking about these two pieces here. And it appears that, okay, I've got some tabs here in the front and some tabs here at the back, oops, try not to drop it and break it, and what it appears it wants me to do is to line these tabs up, uh, let's see, but where, but where, okay, I, I can see where the front tabs go, where do the side or back tabs go, oh, I see it, okay, let's see, it should just 
yeah, snap right into place. That was easy. Hey, wouldn't it be something if we had a vehicle assembly that was actually easy? It seems like every one of these that we've done, we've had some kind of trouble with it. All right, here is the rear axle. I need to flip this over. Let me flip it around and orient it in the way that is shown in the picture. Um, it goes which way? This way? Let me see. I should read. Rear axle assembly with green axle post inserted through rear chassis hole as shown. Snap green axle tabs into green axle slots on bottom of chassis. Okay, so those are the uh, slots and the tabs are are there. Okay, I get it. Well, that's that's not that hard. Just have to snap that on. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do this facing the camera. I know I've ah, I've uh, in the past I have uh, not shown you very well what I'm doing because it's kind of hard to turn the object to the camera where I can't see it. Oh, that is. That doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good. It says I just have to snap it in, but that doesn't feel good. Is that it? Is it in? Is it in? Oh, no. Okay, I gotta be careful here. I gotta be really careful. I'm trying not to break. I haven't broken one of these. Oh, I take that back. I did break the, uh, the Ninja Lightning. But everybody breaks the Ninja Lightning. Other than that, ooh, there's one. Ah, ooh. That was a really loud pop. That was a really scary sound. I did not like it. I do not like the sound of snapping plastic, but it did not break. It's on. All right. Step three. <clears throat> Front bumper assembly. Loop rubber band uh, down onto green uh, front bumper hook as shown. Okay. Turn vehicle upside down and loop rubber band into green front uh, vehicle hook as shown. Okay. Okay, really? All right. Okay, so this, let's see, it goes this way. This is the rubber band. Okay, okay, so there's a hook inside this little. Um, I don't know, whatever you call it. There's a hook right down there. Um, and I'm supposed to take this. Really? Hold on. Um, hold on, I don't understand. Okay, I hook it, how? Okay, all right, all right, I got it, I got it. I'm supposed to hook it on here. If I can get it down there. Okay, I got it. Okay, so I've hooked it there. And then I'm supposed to turn this upside down okay so far so good and then hook it on there's a there's a hook here right in front and i'm supposed to hook the other end of this rubber band i'm trying to not get it all twisted around hook the other end of it on that hook and then then what um then four Front bumper assembly continued. Press green bumper track down between the chassis slot until the bumper track snaps into place. Turn vehicle over um, and push in bumper. To activate, press button inside truck bed. Okay, interesting. So this is supposed to, where does it hook on? Um, okay, that is, uh, that is very tricky. Uh, I'm still not sure I understand it. Okay, I'm trying to do it the way that it shows. And it shows it going in like that. And then, and then what? And then, and then you push it forward until it snaps in place, but that doesn't seem right, does it? Do you think that seems right? That doesn't seem right to me. Let's see. Uh, okay, hang on. 
Okay, so this, I'm just supposed to like push it in until it snaps. Is that really, oh wait, is that it? Is that it? Okay, all right, I think that's it. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. So you push that in and then, then what do you do? You push a, oh, okay, you push a button. Which button do you push? Oh, how did that work? Oh, I get it, I get it. I understand how it works now. Uh, this back hook ca uh, catches on this right here, okay? All right, so it latches there. And then this button here, right here in the truck bed, uh, once you push that down, it releases that latch under there and will snap the, uh, the bumper, there we go, forward. I can give a better picture of that. So if you got like dreadnoughts standing in front of your vehicle and you're like, screw you guys, boom. That's kind of cool. All right, I dig it, okay, I like it. Um, so that was not too bad, not too painful. All right, step five. Step five, roll cage assembly. Um, front, okay, fit front ends of the roll cage. Got the roll cage here. Fit front ends of the roll cage into slots uh, on the vehicle hood. It's right, those slots are right here. Back ends of roll cage fit into holes as shown, those holes right there. Roll cage can be opened and closed when seating figures uh, sold separately. Yes, this didn't come with an action figure as you saw. Um, so this is pretty simple and straightforward. It just goes on like that, okay? And so when you want to put a figure in, you just rip, rip, there you go. Okay, cool. So there's that. Um, step six is launcher assembly. That's this guy right here. Uh, press launch, uh, blue launcher pivot into hole as shown. Oh, the pivot is on here. So let me use my nipplers to nipple the the pivot off. Hold on, it's a coming. There we go. So this little mushroom clip here fits in this hole there. And uh, it, it looks like it is not gonna be easy to put it, push in. So I'm going to, I may, I got some other tools here just for such uh, an eventuality because I thought it might be a little bit difficult to do. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of assistance here. Uh, come on, guy. You can do it. Line up. The problem is that the mushroom clip is just a little wide. Oh, I think I got it, actually. Or just about. Oh, there it goes. That was not as hard as I thought it would be. Now, this guy... There's a little bar right there, and that goes on the turret. It's gonna be super easy, right? It's gonna be like really freaking easy. Like I can push down harder, but I'm trying not to break the thing. And I really probably shouldn't worry that much about it. Um, I mean, th these things were made to be played with, right? Um, so, it uh, probably will withstand my efforts to uh, assemble it, right? It pro probably will be fine. Let me move that out of the way. Probably will be fine. Nonetheless, I'm trying to be careful with it. Um, this is, I mean, this isn't super hard plastic. It really shouldn't be that, that hard. There we go. My fear was that I'd push down on that and I would break this little side piece off, but we did it. We did it. There is a spring-loaded missile launcher on a turret, and uh, there you go. And we've got a little bit of a elevation there. Uh, Goody. So, um, roll cage. Um, it does, all right, well, I guess if you lift it, it'll go over the roll cage, but it, the roll cage does kind of get in the way of the turret, but this is not a review. This is not a review. We're assembling it. Okay, so next. Uh, launcher assembly continued. 
grappling hook or missiles into launcher barrel, tie ends of string to blue missile uh, to blue launcher ring and blue grappling hook uh, hole to fire. Uh, we know how to fire it. Grappling hook and missiles uh, store in holes at the rear of the vehicle. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so this is the grapple hook right here. I'm going to nipple that off. Uh, let's see here. There, nipple. Nipple. Everybody say it with me. Hey, I'm not doing it until everyone says it with me, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, nipple. There we go. Uh, okay, next, I'm supposed to tie this string to this. Um, let's see. Yeah, I go. Um, the grapple hook has uh, holes here in the little wings or hooks. And I'm supposed to thread this through. I really should have got my glasses. Uh, I'm having to squint to read the uh, instructions because I didn't get my glasses before I started. Um, so that's pretty genius, right? Uh, why didn't I think of that? You know, I, I knew I was going to have to read something with fairly small print. Um, and I have been able to read it, obviously, because you've watched me. But uh, I've just, uh, it's a little bit of a strain on the old peepers. I'm not getting any younger, and my eyeballs don't work as well as they used to. Uh, let's see. All right, let me make a double knot here. This is riveting stuff here, because I know you can't see this part. Okay, so there, that's pretty well tied, and I'm supposed to tie the other end to where? To okay, there is there's a there are a couple little loops here on uh, the missile launcher, and I believe that's where I'm supposed to tie the other end. Um, let's uh, carefully thread that through. Easier said than done. I don't want to have to stop the video and get my glasses. Did I get it? Did I get it? Maybe. Oh, I think I got it. I got it. Okay, cool. All right. Now, let's just double knot this real quick. Um, and then we'll try out the missile launcher. So this is a grapple hook. Um, and it's got this black thread tied to the launcher. So um, it will, you know, it'll tether. It'll tether the grapple hook. All right, let's fire it. Uh, let's see. What, this is the button. There you go. Um, and that is uh, sort of on the cool side. What would be even cooler is if it had like a, a way to reel it back in. That would be nice. That, that would be a nice extra bonus. But this is 1993 we're talking about here. We can't do that in 1993, right? You should be lucky you got anything in 1993. Um, okay. Next, wheel assembly. We've got four wheels. They look all identical. You just snap them in with the, the hubcap side looking out. Of course, there aren't really hubcaps on there. Like with a lot of these vehicles, you, or you're going to see those mushroom clips um, straight through, um, through the wheel. Um, and I am going to actually um, wrap this around, this string around the uh, grapple because that string is already getting in the way. Okay, there. There, you stay there. And now, these should be quite straightforward. I should be able to just press them on. I should be able to just press them on and have them not break, right? There we go. There we go. And one more, please, 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 please. There we go. All right. Four wheels on. They all rolled. Did not break the axles. And there we go. 
Uh, we're mostly done here, right? Um, no, well, I, gotta, I just have to nipple off uh, the other missiles and then put the stickers on. So let's nipple these off and let's let's try to try to do it together now. All right, let's ha let's have some teamwork. All right. Um, it looks like three nipples on each missile, and I would like the entire class uh, to say it with me, okay? First one. Uh, hold on. There we go. Ready, and... N oh, nipple. 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 Nip that nipple. Oh, that that was a hard nipple. That that nipple was really hard. And nipple. There we go. The other two missiles. Okay. Uh, let's see. It says. Okay. These. It's got these uh, things here in the back, and that's like you can store the extra missiles there. There you go. I guess you could store the grapple hook there too, but it doesn't look like there's, well, there might be enough room. Let's see. Let's just find out. Yeah, okay. So you can store all three. So the vehicle is assembled. Now we get to put on the stickers. I did get my glasses for this part. Um, so the, the sticker application, this is always my favorite part. Uh, this is uh, our opportunity to um, to slow down for a moment and to contemplate life. As some of you may know, uh, my life has gone through quite a lot of changes. Uh, I'm going through a relationship change where I am uh, going to be a single person. Um, after many, many years of being married. Um, and that has been quite, quite a change. I've had, I, I've had a lot of ups and downs with that. Um, it's been, a, it's been very strange. I'm, I'm accustomed to having a partner here to whom I am devoted, but uh, that is not the case now. And although I could be in a very uh, poor emotional state about it, um, I am actually okay. Um, I, I've gotten a lot of help from friends. Um, I've talked to people who are close to me, and um, I've reached a point where I'm all right. Um, but nonetheless, life is changing. Life is changing very rapidly. Um, and I have to think about some things now that I haven't had to think about before. For instance, um, I will be supporting myself on one income, but at least for the time being, staying in the same house. Um, so, I have to make sure my child is taken care of. I have to make sure that I am taken care of, that I'm taking care of myself. And so uh, that is going to be an adjustment. And it is, um, it means that I have to very carefully watch my income and expenses. I will not have as much money now to get G.I. Joe toys, um, but I will still get them. Um, I will keep the channel going. In fact, um, having the channel is part of what has uh, kept my spirits up. Uh, the channel will continue. Uh, we will still get together every week, or almost every week, to talk about G.I. Joe. But, um, you know, I have, uh, I have a Patreon, and I get a little bit of money from YouTube through uh, uh, ad revenue. A little, not a lot, but um, 
these uh, sources of funds are now really important because uh, in the past that money was uh, money that I would use to purchase toys that I would review. And it allowed me to purchase some uh, some higher end toys, uh, some rare toys. It's, it's through um, Patreon that I was able to acquire uh, Goldhead Steel Brigade. And if you ever want to know how difficult that is, uh, just you know, go check eBay and look up G.I. Joe's Goldhead Steel Brigade and take a peek at what they're going for. I'd never be able to do that without the income of uh, Patreon. Uh, for a while, at least, for a time, uh, I, the income from Patreon and the ad revenue from YouTube, um, it's going to go to making sure that I survive, right? I, it's not going to be extra money anymore. It is now uh, vital income that I will be using to support myself. Um, so until my finances get settled and I know exactly how much I'm going to be paying for everything, I have to... I have to be very careful what I spend, and every single nickel that I get from ad revenue um, or Patreon needs to be accounted for and it needs to be used to make sure I have a roof over my head, food on the table, make sure my